Hey everyone, so welcome to another video and this video is all about my Jika Android TV box home entertainment So we have Android in our cars Android on our phones on our tablets Why not Android operating system on your TV? So let's take a quick look at the my Jika Android TV box The company has a number of products the box I'm going to show you is the ATV 1200 which is a dual core which allows you to watch your movies, videos, TV shows in high res. We're talking 1080p resolution guys. Alright so with the MyGika devices these boxes are very easy to use, very easy to set up. You don't need a professional to do the installation. All the necessary cables are provided in the package and you just need to connect them, provide power and provide internet. You have many smaller compact Android TV boxes but what I like about the MyGika is the fact that it comes with a lot of ports and when compared to your regular Android TV boxes you find that the MyGika devices are equipped with not just the HDMI port but also your R RCA or AV ports and this is what makes it a great device because if you have the older TVs or if your HDMI ports are being used then you can connect using the RCA cables. Now as mentioned earlier setup is very easy you get the HDMI cable included in the package you connect that to your TV and then to the back panel of the MyGika device. If you're using an older TV or your ports are being used by other boxes then you can use the RCA cables. So it's the MyGika ATV1200 Enjoy TV, which is pretty much what you're going to be doing with this device. On the back you'll see included an Ethernet port, so you can connect to your network via an Ethernet cable and provide connectivity to the box. You may also use the built-in Wi-Fi which supports BGN standards. Where other boxes may have one or two USB ports, this has four. So you can use your external hard drive or thumb drive, you can use a USB mouse, also a USB keyboard. Another source for media is your SD card slot. So if you have a camera or a tablet that uses an SD card and you want to view it on your TV, then there's a slot here on the MyGika for that. So going back to the USB ports, we all have that external hard drive or flash drive with media on. Now instead of putting it to your computer, you can plug it to the MyGika device and then have it displayed on your big screen TV. So if you want to get rid of cable and the monthly recurring fees, this is the Android powered box you must have, the MyGika ATV1200. Now seeing that this box is powered through Android, you have apps such as Netflix and YouTube that you can stream movies or videos from. But you also have XBMC which is preloaded. XBMC as we know is an open source media center solution and instead of constantly downloading movies or going to different websites, all you do is stream through this box. Through this there is a number of video add-ons available. Now this opens you up to viewing a lot of movies. So you can go through most popular, highly rated or if you can't find a movie you can just do a search. Now other than movies there is also TV shows so if you need to catch up on something that you may have missed you can get it here. The box is fully compatible with iOS and Android devices so instead of connecting via cable you can just sync through Wi-Fi through DLNA and push content directly from your smartphone or tablet to your TV. So you want to cut cables, get rid of those recurring monthly fees. This is the MyGika ATV1200, the Android powered smart TV box. 